Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, we are back yet again with another Marvel Legends unboxing. Guys, I'm super excited to unbox both of these figures. Um, this is kind of, you know, a, a, gives me a reason kind of to talk about Daredevil Born again because I've been really excited for Daredevil Born again. And these figures um, are, you know, are characters in Daredevil, pretty big characters in Daredevil. Um, and I'm super excited to unbox both of these figures here today. As you can see from the thumb thumbnail, I'm going to be unboxing uh, the Hawkeye Marvel Legends Kingpin, which I'm really excited to unbox. And also uh, the Daredevil Season 2 Electra. She's actually a part of a Build-A-Figure wave. I actually got her for $14.99. This is actually a figure that's pretty relatively, I want to say, hard to get. Um, this, this kind of wave in general, um, this is a part of the build a figure wave and this is to build man thing. This was actually the first time that we had to build a figure wave for man thing. And it kind of looks like the man thing that just came out and I happen to have that and I will be unboxing it, um, uh, in another video that will probably be dropping on Wednesday. Um, so I'm excited to, to, you know, kind of, uh, unbox that figure and kind of, you know, I wish I had, actually have a comic shop, you know, here in my city that actually has this build a figure man thing. Maybe I'll buy it and kind of do a comparison video. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys would want to see something like that, or maybe I'll just pull up like pictures in that video and I'll show you guys a comparison. Um, but like I said, uh, Daredevil from Daredevil season two is in here. I actually have that figure. I got that to a year or two years ago. That figure you guys have seen in my, um, Marvel legends shelf, you know, videos. You've seen that on my Daredevil shelf. Um, we also have, you know, uh, John Bernthal's Punisher, which as you guys can see right there. I don't have that John Bernthal Punisher figure, but I actually want to get it. I actually came across it once, and I think it was two years, two years ago or a year ago at um, a convention I have here in my city called uh, Steel City Con. And I think I've come across it only once before. I think it was like two years ago or it was last year. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I just, I've come across this Electra figure now. I want to say... Three or four times now. I want to say it's been like four times now because I came across it at a comic book shop here that, and my bro got that one because that was the, the only one I saw in the longest time, but it didn't come with one of the size, um, one of her weapons. It didn't come with them and it was like uh, opened and it didn't come with them. Um, and then we came across one at one of our comic shops that actually have that build a figure man thing. And I also came across it just this year at Steel City Con and I want to say that was it. I think I also came across it at Nerd Out in Columbus, Ohio when I went on that road trip with Nick and Troy. So I've come across that figure about like four to four to five times. So it's actually really, really crazy that, you know, when you don't get a figure, the world tends to kind of, you know, give you other chances to get that figure. I find that really, really cool that it's been happening to me multiple times this year in particular where I've gotten... You know, I've really kind of upped it up the scale of my Marvel Legends in my collecting that every time, you know, if I don't choose to get a figure at some point, that figure tends to come back down the line. But like I said, super excited to unbox this figure. We're actually going to unbox the Mor the Hawkeye Marvel Legends Kingpin. I actually really like this box, all things considered. I know not a lot of people love this iteration of Kingpin, of course, from, you know, uh, Hawkeye. Uh, but I actually, you know enjoyed this version of Kingpin. I wouldn't say it was too far off of Vincent D'Onofrio's, you know, portrayal of Kingpin. I feel like he's played, you know, I guess we could say three different Kingpins at this point between Hawkeye, or between Daredevil, Hawkeye, and now uh, Echo, but also now Daredevil Born Again. But I feel like the same Kingpin that we got in Daredevil Born Again is going to be the same ping Kingpin that we got in Echo. So, yeah, it might not be the same Kingpin we got in, uh, was it Hawkeye? But relatively, I feel like Vincent D'Onofrio kind of plays the same Kingpin. Um, the only difference I would say from this Kingpin onto Echo is that he wore that, uh, was it Hawaiian shirt that people were like, what, what the hell is this? Kingpin would never wear this. I guess you could say that's really the only difference. I feel like he kind of acted the same. And uh, I guess also he kind of had strength in Hawkeye and he didn't have that going into Echo. So there's subtle differences, but I think the same, the, the, the kind of acting portrayal that Vincent D'Onofrio does, I feel like is the same Kingpin. I don't really see that there's a difference there. I feel like it just always gives a great performance as Kingpin. But I think that they had the outfit down for Kingpin. Love it. I mean, this is like very, very comic, a comic accurate, of course, with the, with the white suit, um, with the white suit jacket, black, like, I think these are kind of like 
purple or black pants he's rocking. I think he's rocking a purple, I think a purple shirt or a black shirt underneath. Very, very Kingpin when you think of Kingpin in the comics. Um, so I really, really like that. They kind of give him more of a comic book look in the Hawkeye series. Like I said, got this figure for, how much did I get him for? $17.97. Um, I actually, originally it was $24.99. I actually, it was cool because at GameStop, they had to buy one, get one free. And I bought this and I got my brother a Disney 100 Mickey Mouse hat, which was really, really cool. It was like a limited edition hat. I got it at GameStop. Pretty cool. Um, I was really holding off on buying this figure because I was kind of like, I, I, I saw this figure, but I wasn't like, oh, I need this figure. Um, I like the Hawkeye series, but like I said, when I saw Kingpin in the series, I was like, I was really, really happy just to see Kingpin again. Um, and I was kind of like, you know, I I'll wait. I know they're going to be bringing out Daredevil Born again, Kingpin. But I was like, you know what? It's on sale. Why not just buy it? Add it to add it to the collection have multiple different variations of kingpin so i have this variation of kingpin and when they drop those daredevil born again legends i'll have that variation of kingpin so i'm just overall really really excited for daredevil born again and i'm really excited now that i have this figure because now i'll have two i'll have a kingpin i actually get to add on my daredevil shelf so i'm really excited about that but we're taking it out of the package as you guys can see right here um, this is actually very, very well done. This actually looks like Vincent D'Onofrio. Holy shit. Like, and he is wearing purple pants. He's wearing a black, uh, looks like a black, yeah, like suit shirt. Very, very comic accurate. Black shoes. I'm loving this. I'm loving that he comes also with a cane. But I just want to show you guys how much that looks like Vincent D'Onofrio. And I'm really trying to get a good zoom in for you guys real quick. I'm like, let's see if I can like zoom it in. Zoom in. Takes a minute, guys. I'm sorry. It always likes to do this. I'm trying to really get a good zoom in for you. Let me, like, do that. There we go. There we go. See how great that figure looks? Look at the face sculpt. It looks like Vincent D'Onofrio. I'm actually really, really impressed with this face sculpt work. Um... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm really, really impressed by this. I, I think this is some of the best face sculpt work I've seen with some with uh, some Marvel Legends. I mean, Marvel Legends face sculpts in general have just been getting better and better. But I find it that, you know, this isn't much of an older one. Like I said, it just came out in, like, the past year or two. I, I can't remember when Hawkeye came out. I think it, that series came out in, like, 2022? maybe or 2021 correct me if i'm wrong i have no clue when that series came out but i'm really impressed now like i said in terms of the feet because uh, marvel legends has uh like likes to kind of use the same uh molds and sometimes i find it in terms of like the the the, sh the was it the fancier uh footwear on a lot of figures like Zemo and like uh, Mobius and J. Jonah Jameson, I find it where like they're harder to stand. Mainly Zemo and J. Jonah Jameson are really, really hard hard to stand up um, because of like the, uh, the 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 foot foot sculpt that they have for the, for the shoes. They're they're very very trash. Um, but actually, because they usually have the ball joint right here, and it's like hard to make these figures stand, but. This one looks really, really solid. It actually looks like it's flat foot, which is really, really good. Sometimes, like I said, they're always at an angle where like they're like pointed downwards like this, and you can't and you can't like uh put them up. They're like this sometimes with the Zemo ones. Like they're like that. And it's like hard to kind of get it up straight to get them to stand. But I'm actually finding it that this is actually very, very good, the sculpt work. And I think that this is the same kind of like like legs like kind of leg design that they have for like loki and i think also have for uh i think really just loki because i find it with the loki figure it's i'm able to like stand it very very easily but like i said i don't know if it's the same kind of leg mold and, and foot mold as like loki and um it was in, in mobius because like i said with the mobius one i'm able to stand a little bit better than the zemo one it's really j jonah jameson and zemo they have the hardest kind of uh, ball joints in their in their feet to kind of make them stand perfectly up because it's, it's always at an angle and you can't get them that straight to stand up very well but like i said i'm very very impressed with the articulation in the feet it looks like he's going to stand very easily um like i said love just the design of the coat and it's actually really really cool the coat can't come off but if you really really wanted to you probably can like 
take this off if you want to do it and he just has like the the a black t-shirt on you probably could spray paint these it looks like he has a black t-shirt on don't know why you would do that but you, you could do that if you wanted to do a special kind of design or if you wanted to paint a different jacket on him but i mean why would you he wore it's iconic the white the white uh suit coat but i'm very very impressed by this figure he looks great uh he actually like i said comes with his cane which i really really love that he comes with his cane and he also comes with two different uh hands he comes with uh two fists and he comes with his cane and as of right now on him he has uh an op two open open hands which is really really cool as you can see two open hands and he comes with his cane i'm gonna make it where like his cane just slides in so let me just do that real quick and the cane is pretty well designed i do gotta say this cane is pretty impressive as you guys can see um kind of like that crystal uh crystal that he has on the top really really cool i'm i'm pretty impressed because this looks shiny on camera but in all in reality it's only like painted white but on the camera it looks very very nice I do gotta say i'm very very impressed like i said close up you can just tell it's a white just a white topper it's not like it doesn't look like they just put a gem in there and like they and they have it like clear like you know, they could have put the plastic gem in here and made it clear, but they just painted it but on camera. It's coming up where it like it kind of looks like it's kind of shiny, which is really really cool. And I think it's the gold that makes it look like that. But I don't know. Very impressed with that. It just slides in like so very very easily. So you can kind of have it like that, have him like this, um, and make him where he has his like fist in the other hand, which I might make it where like he's holding his cane and he has his fist like this. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Some cool designs for him or cool poses. Um, but I'm very, very impressed with this Kingpin figure. Um, I think they outdid themselves. I don't like, like I said, all things considered, I think this box is pretty solid. I'm not a fan, though, of when Marvel Legends went to these kind of new boxes, these paperback boxes. Hate it. I like when Marvel Legends have, like, the clear plastic screen um, where you can actually see the figure and it actually looks like it is a really... Like, a, like, it looks like an, a really nice collectible. It doesn't look like some cheap collectible that comes in a cheap box. I feel like the when the boxes look nice, the figure looks more expensive. Um, And it looks like, and people will be like, wow, that figure actually looks pricey. And the, the box will give it that effect when the figure can back up the box. You know what I mean? So I really, really like that. So like I said, all things considered, I think this is one of the better looking paperback boxes that they've done um the only one the only one i can really think of besides that is maybe wakanda forever but that's about it I, i'm not a really big fan of these paperback boxes but i think this might be the best one that they've done in my personal opinion um and it really gives that hawkeye look to it which i really really like um now going on to of course the daredevil electra figure from season two like i said i got this figure for 14.99 um this figure usually retails for like 24 24 dollars originally but now i think this figure is charged more don't know why this figure, because it's funny because when my bro got it, I think it was like 30 to 40 bucks when he bought it and it, it was out without one of the size, one, without one of her weapons. And I find it weird because when, when we, when they got this figure in and it's the same store that, you know, it was open box, didn't have one of the size, but they were charging more for it is weird because this is closed box, hasn't been open, has both of her weapons and they only charged $14.99 for it. It makes no sense. You'd think the one that didn't come with one of her weapons and was opened would be cheaper, but it wasn't. I, I can't get my head around that. I don't know why that is what it is. Um, but I'm, I'm very glad that I have everything in this um, in this box. Uh, but like I said, it comes with one of the Build-A-Figure pieces for Man-Thing. I think this is one of his legs um, in there. It comes with another face sculpt of Elodie Young without her uh, mask on. So I really do like that and it comes with two size and it does not come with any extra hands. Um, I love this box design. Of course, this is the side where you can see Electra. Um, there's the other side where you can see Electra. And of course, this is the back of the box right here. Very, very cool. And it gives you some information on Electra right here. Um, it says both, both uh, wealthy, Har I've, I've said Har Harris, Harris. I can't, I, don't know, I can't pronounce that. And a trained assassin, Electra Natios, is a mysterious woman from Matt Murdock's past who unexpectedly returns in his life. I, I, I can't pronounce that, that one word right there, but yeah. It sums up Electra very, very well. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, love this box, lo loving, loving this figure. And I'm so excited to add it right next to my Daredevil Season 2 figure. Like I said, for older figures, I think that these molds are very, very good. And with the Daredevil figure, he actually has a rotating stomach. Like, he's able to, like, his stomach is able to, like, rotate. They don't do that with Marvel Legends that much, that much anymore. Um, the only other figure I could think of that did that was my Bucky, uh, Walmart exclusive from Civil War Marvel Legends figure. That's the only other figure I can think that kind of shifts like that and kind of feels like cheap, cheaper plastic. Um, I, I think this figure, from, by the looks of it, doesn't look doesn't look that cheap compared to like because i find that when the ones were able to move like that and they, uh, there's like a quality difference that i think that this looks better in terms of the plastic quality than it does for my daredevil figure my daredevil figure looks great don't get me wrong but i feel like when it when it has that weird kind of rotating feeling you can tell it's an older legends i find it with the newer legends they've gotten better um in terms of articulation in terms of uh like the feel of the plastic and in terms of the paintwork but all things, I do got to say, that is the best Daredevil figure they have made. Even though it's older, I think it's one of the better ones that's come out until, of course, we... I think those Daredevil Born Again ones are going to be fire. Um, but like I said, here, here's the Man-Thing leg. I'm not going to take it out. But we're going to take out the figure itself. Right here, we're going to take that out. Of course, she comes with two of her size. I'm not going to take those out. She comes with two weapons, of course, her ideal weapons. And, of course, the head sculpt. So, we're going to put this down. I actually want to show you guys the back of this box, which is really, really cool. It is like uh, skyscrapers in Hell's Kitchen. I love that red, that Daredevil red. I'm, I love it. I love that this is the back of the box. It looks really, really cool. I actually told my friend, my bro Troy, that I actually want to design my Daredevil shelf and, like, put, like, murals in it. Like, if Muse was kind of, like, spray painting artwork inside the shelf. And I'm going to get like a kind of like a little uh, props, like church props. So I could put it inside my uh, cube where it like has like stained glass and it looks like, you know, it gives it that daredevil vibe. I want to do that. And I kind of want to get like a police car and make it kind of like flash. So it's like police or in Hell's Kitchen, the church aesthetic, the the, the kind of graffiti on the wall from Muse. I really want to do that in my shelf and really make it look like Hell's Kitchen. I really want to do that. I want to start doing that with a lot of my like theme shelves. I've been starting to do that with my X-Men um, animated X-Men 97 shelf. I started to do it with my with my uh, Spider-Verse shelf on my uh, on my uh, animated uh, Marvel Legends figures and stuff like my, my uh, comic book ones. So I started designing my shelves. And I really want to do it with my Daredevil shelf. So I find it really, really cool that it looks like this. Kind of gives me an idea and maybe I kind of do something like this inside my shelf. But we're going to put that on the ground. Of course, we're going to look at this figure. Here she is, of course, with her mask on. This figure looks great. I actually find it that it actually looks like Ella de Young. They actually did a very, very good job on this on this uh, figure. It actually looks like Ella de Young. I can't lie. It's very, very impressive. Uh, the paintwork is top notch. Even like the, the the ripples in her mask and in her shirt, how like she's able to put her scarf up or like her, her turtleneck up and make it a mask. I really, really like that, how they've done that. It just looks very, very good. It looks like LED Young. Like I said, the, the, the muscle definition, just overall very, very impressed with this figure. And actually this figure has great articulation on the feet. So I think I'm not gonna have a tough time posing this figure. I'm very, very glad about that. I'm actually am gonna take out these sides because I actually wanna put these sides in their hand and see how if if there's not if like it, it's like fits very smooth and so far they they slide in very very easily the size in her hands i'm actually pretty impressed how good this looks um it actually looks like the side can go between her hands like so so let, let me do that real quick because she has two fingers up like this and that's for to put her fingers in between the swords so let me do that try to get it in I know, I know that's really why that's there. I might just try to slide it in. So. Okay, got one, got two. Okay, cool. Got it. Sick. Yeah, this looks cool. I'm, I'm very, very impressed. One hand like this for her to put her hands on top of the size and between the size. And then one hand where it's just like normal. So I really like that. It's going to be fun posing this figure, especially right next to Matt um, as Daredevil. And I actually have a Matt Murdock figure that I got from... Um, 
the wave for Spider-Man No Way Home. So I'm really excited to kind of put you know, Kingpin in right next to Matt and then Electro right next to Daredevil. I'm really excited to do that. I think it's going to be very, very fun when I do that uh, later tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like I said, this figure looks incredible. That That's her with the size. Of course, this is the back of the figure. Um, even the designs on the jeans look great. It's just the detail work is really, really good. Um, you can see some abs right here in her shirt. As you guys can tell right there. It's just, I'm very impressed. This figure looks great. The hair looks great. Yeah. And even I'm going to put on the other head sculpt, which I'm going to do real quick. Get that off real quick. Put the non-masked face on, which I always find it a little harder to snap the heads on. But yeah, this. Oh, look at that. That's Ella de Young right there, baby. That looks in. She look, it looks great. It, the the, I'm just blown away. For an older figure, they got it down very very well. Her likeness, which I'm again, I'm trying to I'm trying to zoom in. I hate how my webcam sometimes doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. There we go. Good shot for you guys. Yeah, that that likeness is crazy. It actually looks like her. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I'm very impressed by this, guys. How this uh figure looks. I'm trying I'm trying to get now I'm trying to get it to focus pack in on me. There we go. Cool. So yeah, I'm very impressed by this figure, guys. Um, I think that these were two both great buys in total. Um, like I said, I spent I think was it 17? Yeah, $14.99. On my Electra figure, and I spent seventeen, was it seventeen ninety seven? So yeah, fourteen ninety nine and seventeen ninety seven, right? Have I said that right? So let me let me see that. Where's that? Nine, 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 it's not bad. That's like $32.96 for two figures. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. If I did that right, if I did my math right, that's pretty good. Um, So yeah, I'm very, very happy with my purchases. Can't wait to put both of these up right next to uh, you know, Daredevil and Matt. Going to be really, really cool to have that up. And it actually will be new additions to my um to my shelf video when I show you guys my uh, updated Marvel Legends shelf like video. Uh, these will be two new additions I'm going to be adding. Uh, for my next uh, Legends tour. So I'm really excited to have these two figures up um, along with my man thing, which like I said, I'm going to be doing that video next and that video will be dropping on Wednesday. So yeah, super excited. This video will be dropping tomorrow. So when you see this, this will be uh, Monday. So yeah, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about two of these figures. Which one, which figure do you like the most? Do you like the Electra figure from Daredevil season two? Or do you like the Kingpin figure from Hawkeye? Let me know. Um, and also let me know like what how excited you guys are for the Marvel Legends for Daredevil Born Again once they come out. I'm super excited, guys. I'm so excited for Daredevil Born Again. You guys don't even know. The more news that comes out about it, the more I'll be covering it here on the channel. That is one of my most anticipated projects going into 2025. So like I said, when, the content for that show is going to be crazy. TV spots. Uh, news posts, trailers, pre-show and after party uh, episode discussions, a pre-show episode discussions and after party spoil episode spoiler reviews. We're going to be doing that on top of reactions over on Patreon. It's going to be bonkers guys for Daredevil Born Again. You're not going to want to miss any of that content. It's going to be crazy. And also you're not going to miss those unboxings for those figures because like I said, um, I'm going to be doing a balance. I'm going to be doing a balance of bringing Marvel Legends here, also bringing a lot more Marvel Legends over on the Patreon. Uh, like I said, guys, this is just me kind of giving you guys a taste on what we do over there. Uh, we have a lot more you know, exclusive unboxings over on Patreon, along with my Red Hulk, my X-Men 97 Rogue unboxing over on there. Like I said, if you guys want to just take a look at what I got over there, go to my Patreon, go to my Collections tab. It should show you guys what I got over there, like for playlists. There's I I, I have a lot of unboxings for Marvel Legends over on the Patreon. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, go over there because like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of like reactions, not only for Daredevil Born Again, but also uh, some Legends unboxings over there for Daredevil Born Again as well. I might split it, kind of do someone's over there and bring someone's over here. Like I said, I'm trying to do a balance for you guys. 
Um, you know what I mean? To kind of give you a taste, to kind of get you guys to want to go over there. We, like I said, a lot more unboxing for Marvel Legends are over there. So if you spe specifically love Marvel Legends unboxings, you guys can get that on top of my reactions, on top of my cosplay tips and tricks for the, over on my Patreon. It's in the $10 tier. It's definitely worth it. Um, we're bringing a lot of stuff over there and, and you know, we only have more stuff coming on the Patreon in here as well. Like I said, stay tuned for my man thing unboxing that will be dropping on Wednesday. But as always, guys, that was my unboxing for my Daredevil Electra figure and also my Hawkeye Kingpin figure. Hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.